morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our phone number today, 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com, my website, or you can go to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website for a one-time $25 fee. You can earn yourself thank you checks and help spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be. You can also get your products at the wholesale price if that's what you so desire. You can also call the Brightside Bend phone team, 866-735-2470. It's their number, 866-735-2470. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of our skin health products, Truth Treatment skin health products, please head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And then if you're interested in purchasing any of our enzyme products, you can go to Brightside Health, brightsidehealthproducts.com, brightsidehealthproducts.com. Okay, welcome to the bright side once again. We're talking hyperpigmentation, melasma, and also topical strategies for dealing with hyperpigmentation and melasma. The most important thing to recognize if you are pigmenting inappropriately, it is a sign of a uh, manifestation of an overloaded stress system, stress nervous system. Please, please, please don't blame the sun, don't be a heliophobe. No fear of the sun here. The sun is our friend. The sun is our friend for so many different reasons and unfortunately gets demonized and vilified by simplistic notions that we hear from the medical model. The sun is our friend. You don't want to burn, but you need the sun for so many reasons. We've talked about this at length. The point I want to make here is that if you're pigmenting inappropriately, it's not the sun's fault. It's a sign of an overloaded stress nervous system. This is one of the reasons why our favorite anti-stress vitamin, vitamin C, is so relevant when it comes to keeping skin clear and pigment free. And keep in mind, when we're looking at each other's skin, when we're looking at our skin, one of the most important, most important criteria for a healthy, beautiful countenance or skin appearance is the color of the skin, the tone of the skin. Vitamin C being an anti-stress vitamin is important for the uh, exaggerated stress response that is a, a, a sign of, that, that pigmentation is a sign of. In addition, you're going to get moisturization. Vitamin C topically stimulates moisture factors. In addition, you're going to get an improvement in fine lines and wrinkles, vitamin C being the rate limiting step in the production of collagen. That means it's the key element when it comes to the production of collagen and connective tissue. Oh, guess what? Topical vitamin C also has sun protection benefits. It's not like a sunscreen, it's not like a sunblock, it doesn't really have a strong SPF, but because of its ability to protect the skin from solar radiation, it's an antioxidant, it's an excellent, it's the best topical antioxidant, it will also protect your skin from the sun. So you get upregulation or improvement in moisture factors, you get an improvement in fine lines and wrinkles, this is often topical 
vitamin C, proven to fine lines and wrinkles, moisturization, sun protection, all in addition to skin lightening or anti-pigmentation. And it's an anti-stress vitamin on top of everything else. All stresses are going to upregulate or increase how much vitamin C the body uses. All stresses increase the need for vitamin C. All stresses, emotional stresses, mental stresses, and by the way, vitamin C is a key player in the production of brain hormones. Vitamin C is involved in the production of our happy hormones. So vitamin C is a brain vitamin too, an anti-stress vitamin not just for the skin but also for the brain. Listen guys, if you are not supplementing with vitamin C and you're dealing with any kind of physical stress or emotional stress or mental stress or who isn't, if you're dealing with any of these kinds of stressors and you're not supplementing with vitamin C, you are almost 100%. I would go on a, out on a limb and say you are 100% guaranteed to be deficient in this unbelievably important vitamin. Remember, animals, with very few exceptions, humans, guinea pigs, certain of the great apes, and the fruit bat are the only exceptions in the whole world of animals. The whole world of higher animals, there's only four classes of animals, humans, p guinea pigs, some of the great apes, and fruit bats that don't make their own vitamin C. And when an animal's stressed, it makes more vitamin C, and a lot more of it. I mean a lot, under normal circumstances, uh, under normal circumstances, the daily amount produced by, say, uh, a, a cow or a guinea pig or, I'm sorry, a cow or a goat is going to be somewhere between 3 and 15 grams of vitamin C. Yes, a goat will make 3 to 15 grams of vitamin C under normal circumstances. That's, that is, uh, that's adjusted for a 70-kilogram man, for a 200-pound man, approximately. So under normal circumstances, a, a cow or a guinea pig or, or a horse or a dog or a cat will make the equivalent of 3 to 15 grams of vitamin C. Now, can you believe that according to the recommended daily allowance, the geniuses at the National Academy of Sciences, all a human being needs is 60 milligrams? What? And a, a cow needs 15 grams of it and more when it's under stress? Species of monkeys, the squirrel monkey, requires an equivalent of two grams a day to maintain health. And it will make 10 times that amount when it's under stress. How the heck can we believe that a, a, a pinhead size amount, 60 milligrams is a, a, a vitamin C would fit maybe on two or three pinheads. How can we believe that that's all that a human being needs when, when animals need a hundred times that amount and more when they're under stress? It doesn't make sense. It's illogical. Now, if you are subsisting on a multiple vitamin and trying to get your vitamin C content from a multiple vitamin, and, and most people aren't even doing that, if you're just trying to get by life without any vitamin C, there is no way you are going to be able to optimize your health. There's no way you're going to be able to leverage longevity. There's no way you're going to be able to access 120 or 130 years of the longevity that we're entitled to. And there's no way that you're going to be able to dodge cancer and autoimmune diseases and heart diseases and blood sugar problems and all the other things that vitamin C protects us from. Do you know vitamin C is one of the most important supplements you could ever take for cholesterol? When was the last time your doctor wrote a prescription for vitamin C? No, he'll write a prescription for a statin drug, and then he'll tell you, well, we know statin drugs will decrease your uh, risk of a heart attack by 2 or 3 percent. At least that's what the salesperson told me. When was the last time he wrote a prescription for vitamin C, which we know is critical for the conversion and metabolism of, of, of cholesterol? We know that vitamin C is critical for the manufacture of bile. Bile comes from cholesterol via the activity of vitamin C. So not only are you going to improve cholesterol status, but you're also going to be able to make bile, which is important for clearing out those nasty statin drugs and other prescription medicines. You guys, this stuff is unbelievably important. And unfortunately, because we've heard about it for so long, it's become a cliche. It's become jargon. I'm not telling you that vitamin C is going to just completely eliminate your cancer, but you know what? Vitamin C is really important for fighting cancer and for protecting yourself from cancer. I'm not sitting here telling you that vitamin C is going to completely eliminate heart disease, but you know what? Vitamin C is a major player in keeping your heart healthy. I'm not telling you vitamin C is going to eliminate your colds, but you know what? Vitamin C is a critical, critical nutrient for the immune system, which is absolutely vital for fighting infections and colds. All right, so much more to say about vitamin C and skin lightening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Oh.
Okay, we are back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time. All our programs are archived at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. You can also check out my blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. We update those regularly with blog posts as well as news stories. Thank you to Robert Lundgren and John T. Collier for setting those up. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, you can get them right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470. Our number today, and we got lines open for you, try to call in early, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you've got questions about the Longevity products, the Longevity business, skincare formulations, ingredients, my Truth Treatment products, which you can get off of truthtreatments.com, or if you just want to comment on anything we're talking about, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010, is our number on the bright side. All right, we're talking about vitamin C, and man, there's just so much to talk about when it comes to this unbelievably important vitamin for your heart, for your blood sugar, for your adrenal glands, for your skin. Before we went to break, we were saying how vitamin C is important for cholesterol, for, uh, cholesterol metabolism. It helps break down cholesterol. It helps convert cholesterol into bile salts. I wonder how much of our cholesterol epidemic, hypercholesterol epidemic, could be solved with just high doses of vitamin C. And that's one of the neatest things about vitamin C is you can take high doses of it, humongous doses of it. That's one of the coolest things about vitamins in general. Why do you suppose that you can take such huge, huge doses of vitamins, but you can't do the same with drugs? What is it about drugs that's different from vitamins and other essential nutrients that allows you to take these high doses of vitamins? 50,000 milligrams of vitamin C put right in your blood will just make you feel better. We had a guy on the program named Thomas Levy, a physician as well as an attorney who's written a lot of books on vitamin C. One of my favorite is called The Primal Panacea. Dr. Levy was talking about how he witnessed a woman sitting in a dentist's chair and the dentist put 50,000 milligrams of vitamin C right in her blood. And all that happened is she felt better. Now, if the RDA is around 50 milligrams, she's put 50,000 milligrams, that's a thousand times the recommended daily allowance, a thousand times the RDA right in her blood, directly in her blood, bypassing her liver, bypassing all the detox mechanisms. It went right in the blood. Now, can you put a thousand times your dose of statin drugs in your blood? Can you put a thousand times of any? prescription drug in your blood? What is it about vitamins that makes them so non-toxic? Well, what it is is, and this is so important, and next time some bonehead medical professional tells you about vitamin toxicity, is the body has to activate vitamins for them to work. The, vi the body, especially the water-soluble vitamins, has a mechanism for excreting those vitamins. Now, it's a little different with your fatty vitamins, especially A and D, but the water-soluble vitamins, vitamin C, and the B complex and your electrolytes, water soluble electrolytes, are flushed out of the system. And in the case of the vitamins, especially the Bs, particularly the Bs, they have to be activated. This is why nobody has vitamin toxicity ever. Once in a while, there's some weird case of a fat soluble vitamin that somebody takes too much of and they get a little bit toxic in the sense that they've overdosed. But there's, as soon as they stop taking it, they feel better. It's not like they're permanently poison their body as they would with a drug. This is so important because the medical model wants us to treat vitamins and essential nutrients as if they're medicines. That's why periodically you'll hear an article in the news that says something like, oh, well, we tested vitamin D against heart disease and we didn't notice any benefit from vitamin D. Therefore, vitamin D is useless. Or we tested uh, vitamin E against lung cancer and you know what? It didn't help cure lung cancer. There, vitamin E, that's silly. That's useless. You don't need any. You'll get all, all the vitamin you, uh, E you need from your food. There's so many ways that vitamin C is important for health that it's really hard to appreciate all of them. And it's unfortunate that this fundamental, incredibly, mind-blowingly important nutrient, nutritional supplement has become a cliche. But nonetheless, if you have to pick one nutrient to take with you on a desert island, and you only bring one, a good case could be made that it's vitamin C, that you want to bring your vitamin C. As with all water-soluble nutrients, electrolytes, B-complex, and vitamin C, we lose them regularly. This is why deficiencies are probably a lot more common than anybody realizes. And if we know how critical vitamin C is and the B-complex is, uh, B-complex are, and electrolytes are for, say, the heart,